Yeah, guys, that's right. So the group behind State Question 832 says that they're moving their focus away from battling it out in the courtroom to trying to court voters. Meanwhile, those that are opposed to the state question raising the minimum wage say they're going to make sure that Oklahomans are well aware of what they're voting on. State Question 832 looks to gradually increase the minimum wage in Oklahoma. Currently, the minimum wage in the state is $7.25 an hour. The proposed state question would raise that to $9 an hour in 2025 and then gradually increase it every year by $1.50 until it reaches $15 an hour in 2029. On Monday, the state Supreme Court handed over the first win for those looking to raise the minimum wage, ruling that state question 832 is constitutional. It was a fantastic day for working Oklahomans. Not often that uh, working folks get a victory like they did in the court. With the court ruling, the group can start collecting signatures to get it on a future ballot. But first, the Secretary of State must set the collection window. Amber England with Yes on 832 expects that to start sometime in April. We take these steps in the initiative petition process one at a time. Once collection begins, the group will have 90 days to get about 92,000 Oklahomans to sign their names. If all of those signatures are valid, it would then be up to the governor to decide when the election will take place. We believe it's important to put this on a ballot so that voters have the opportunity to decide this issue for themselves. We reached out to the state chamber, which was one of the groups to take the case to the Supreme Court. In a statement, Chamber president and CEO Chad Warmington said that he was disappointed by the court's decision to let SQ 832 move forward. He went on to say, we look forward to a vigorous campaign to educate Oklahomans about the disastrous policy that will crush working families through price increases on the heels of record inflation and put corner stores and family farms out of business. At the end of the day, we're talking about people's lives. Oklahomans who are just trying to get by, figure out how am I going to feed my family with the rising cost of groceries? How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my bills? And we did reach out to the Secretary of State to see if there was any timeline for when that signature gathering process can begin. We did not hear back from their office, though. Reporting live, Zach Royale, KOCO 5 News.